Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. A very popular chart analyst says that a clear break above a certain price level will result in XRP just lighting up and in fact, ultimately leading to a new all-time high and beyond that even price discovery high. Yes, we haven't seen some brand new levels of price discovery uh, since the beginning of 2018. So I, th I think it's about time. We're getting to the point where we're about due for that, I would say. Especially where we're at for the, the crypto um, asset class as a whole in terms, in terms of positioning of the market cycle. So I want to share with you opinions from a few different chart analysts on what's likely to occur in the, the short and midterm for XRP in particular. And uh, I'll tell you now, uh, it's it's still tremendous optimism pretty well across the board, which is good to see. I follow a ton of different chart analysts and um, I, I'm, it's, it's hard to find a, a negative outlook. It, it actually is. Today just happens to be. There's a little bit more certainty on what's likely to occur, even though you can't ever know for sure because when you're talking about chart analysis, it is probability of outcomes. Uh, also, I want to run through this piece with you because it's fascinating. Because People are always asking, and I understand the curiosity. I'm curious myself. When the hell is this bull cycle going to end? You know, what, what's going on? So there's this uh, headline from the Daily Hoddle. On-chain analyst Willy Wu predicts when Bitcoin bull run will end, updates price forecast. So plenty to talk about in this latest Moon Lambo hot, 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 hot jam. Uh, but I do want to be clear that I don't have a financial background of any kind. I, uh, I am not a financial advisor, so you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say, all right? Uh, there's nothing special about me. I'm just a guy on the internet that, as an enthusiast, uh, makes YouTube videos about Ripple and XRP and crypto stuff, and that's all that's going on here. As I record this, XRP is at $1.62. Oh, I do not mind seeing that. Bitcoin at $57,537. Uh, market cap for the asset class has climbed back up to uh, 2.3 trillion dollars and i just i sit here as i read this and i'm just sitting back to the people that panic sold when the, the market was taken in general you know bitcoin got down to whatever got what did it get down to like upper 40,000 something region xrp got down to 91 cents and so as people were emotionally responding and capitulating you know if, if they could have possibly just like paused for a moment and said huh I wonder if this really is the end of days. Crypto's been around 12 years. I'm brand new to this, but the price just went down. And I wonder if now that it's going down, it really is a good idea to get out because it must be end of days and it's never going to be higher than it is now. It's just tanking at the moment and I can't wait to get my money. Could you, if you just stop and maybe think like that, then maybe, you know, over the next week that would have followed, which puts us about to where we are now, you'd see that XRP went from 91 cents recently to a buck 62 and Bitcoin's back up to $57,554, damn it. And it's a similar story for pretty much every other crypto under the sun. You know, you could find some outliers maybe, uh, but even then you're just talking about temporary short-term price action. It's not going to matter. It's still, the, the, the market's still moving together, so it doesn't functionally matter here. But uh, I just, as I see all these people emotionally behave, I just like, you do you. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I don't offer financial advice, but I have opinions about what you're doing. Because <laughs> you know, I don't behave like that. I am not going to emotionally respond. By the way, Spark Token IOU, as I record this, $2.21. And uh, also, I, I know, like, the Spark Token, and it's just an IOU in this case, but uh, that. The XRP price, sometimes I like to smash those two mofos together, add them up, and you're already at almost four bucks. And considering that the Spark token is effectively free money, I'm like, eh, I'm just kind of pretend that it's XRP at $4 now. <laughs> I, tell you, no, I tell you what, when the, the price was much, much lower, it helped I, a lot, some people anyway, I think it helped soothe the pain. When XRP was hanging around 17 cents after the SEC went after Ripple, uh, yeah, seeing that the Spark token was was taken off, even though it was just an IOU, I think it could maybe soothe the pain a little bit, like a little consolation prize. Uh, here's chart analyst DIY Investing, and uh, he tweeted out the following. The XRP price chart you need to see before you buy. We talked about the Doge fractal, but today I have three new fractals to show you that perfectly show what's about to come. And so what's he talking about here? Well, as far as the Doge, I'm not gonna go in depth on this. I've talked about it a number of times recently because so many of the analysts that I follow have noted the same thing. Uh, DIY Investing is one of them. There's this little chart here of uh, XRP uh, price chart on the top um, and then Doge on the bottom. And uh, the, the charts look very samesy samesy, which is particularly interesting given that we know what happened with Doge it rocketed once it hit a certain point. And so if XRP follows, that's where it starts, if you start to do the calculations, you can be like, okay, so this means that XRP is going above $10, right? That, that type of stuff, and perhaps even much higher. 
Um, and so this, this isn't just some sort of coincidence. <clears throat> it's not that there's some sort of fundamental similarity uh, between XRP and Doge, of course, that is not the case. And if you're still wondering why this is the why, why did the charts look the same, then well, it's 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 simple. It's because the whole market moves together. This happens to be one of the charts that looks even more same z same z fine, but the whole market still moves together. And so what DIY investing did is he he found another three charts that that look strikingly similar, to, like to, basically to this degree or very close anyway, and illustrating the point effectively that look the market moves together. XRP is going to take off and it's going to make a ton of people very filthy rich. It frankly is. And, um, and, and I always acknowledge, I, you know, I don't want to be hyperbolic about it. I am saying what I actually believe. I don't want to sound like too gung ho about it. I like try and do my best to stay a realist, but like, I do believe this and I could be wrong and XRP could go to zero. So I, I want to be a realist about it. I just don't believe that. I, I sleep easy every night. I'm, I'm confident. I see the way that people behave in these markets. I get it. I've been in this for about three and a half years now. Uh, I've been holding XRP that whole time, and I, I've never sold a single XRP because the moment that I've been waiting for hasn't occurred yet. It looks very close now, but it has not occurred yet. So it, it will be here. But here you can see DIY investing wrote XRP compared to Doge. Don't say you weren't warned. When we flip this all-time high, I win ten thousand dollars from that bet I made too. Yeah, so he made a ten thousand dollar bet. I'm willing. He's not willing to bet. He's not going to get paid though. <laughs> you know, when do these people actually pay up when they're wrong, saying crap about uh, XRP? Uh, I wish them the best though. Of course I do. But uh, but there you go. It's uh, he's he's I, I, I share the conviction. Uh, XRP is going to hit its all-time high and enter a new realm of price discovery. I don't know how it's going to go, and it, fine, whatever, could be wrong, got it. But I'd be surprised, frankly, if XRP didn't hit at least $10 this market like I really would. doesn't mean it's going to, because people can feel strongly and be, have strong conviction. Like, I could, I, I do have a strong conviction. When somebody has a strong conviction, that in and of itself doesn't mean that they're correct, though, so be aware of that. That's why you got to make your own informed decisions and do your own research. Uh, and then there was the blockchain backer, my fellow XRP YouTuber. With the big 0.702 battle for Ripple XRP price chart as month ends. And and so the level that he was talking about in his video today was he said, look, if we if we hit, I think he said like a buck sixty-five, buck sixty-six, uh that's a good sign. But specifically, if we have a notable break above that, like imagine if it goes like a dime higher, we'll talk about like a buck seventy-five, buck seventy-nine, somewhere, somewhere there about, uh, that would be a clear indication that we're about to see some seriously higher levels. Though, um, you know, he had been warning recently, along with a number of others, that it's it, more likely than not you are going to see some consolidation over the next few days. But that's why it's fascinating to see where we are as I record this, at least. Um, XRP is at $1.62. And as I record this, it is 6.31 p.m. April 30th. So that's a Friday. Uh, that's Central Standard Time. I'm in the good old United States here in the Midwest. So just, just for frame of reference, and in, in case anyone's curious... I guess things happen so quickly in, in crypto. I just feel like it's very regular when I'm making a video at price. I'm like, okay, I'm recording this, but what about 10 minutes after I post it? What if what if whatever I make the headline or the thumbnail is completely irrelevant because something like explosive happens? So I sort of like, okay, so here's what I'm saying this just in case, just in case, right? Um, okay, so anyway, uh, if, if we see that though, ultimately just expect that we're going to see take. Oh, he's not the only one that's been saying that. You've been saying seeing that also from. I mean, Harry at Geraldo XRP, he's been talking about that too. Um, Love Crypto, actually. He's basically saying the same thing here. His most recent tweet from today, in fact, he said, in route to $1.75, a current uh, lower time frame bull, uh, bull flag target. And then he wrote $1.84, then $1.94 uh, next XRP. So he definitely sees that um, in the future. And he is also one of those people where he's like, yeah. I mean, you know, you know what his low target is for uh, for for uh, XRP. He said that publicly eight dollars and fifty cents. That's the lowest he can imagine it going. This is another another popular chart analyst here, and um, he thinks more likely though you're going to see twenty to thirty dollar XRP this market cycle. And so it, it's interesting. It's like a blockchain backer. He's he's known for like having pretty much like the, the most conservative XRP prediction, which to me would still be mind blowing and amazing. Even because he says ten to thirteen dollars is what we can expect. Even if we just get ten, I'd be ecstatic. I would love that. And he doesn't really think it's as likely we're going to see like that twenty dollar range or anything up there. He really does just think more likely not ten to thirteen dollars. And so actually, Lev Crypto has the lowest. Uh, the, the most conservative lower end uh, uh, expectation with $8.50, but that's not what he thinks is going to happen. He actually thinks it's more likely 
uh, that we're going to see 20 to $30, which is out of line with the blockchain backer things. But there, there are a lot of people that think, uh, you know, we're going to see 20 to $30. Credible crypto thinks that love crypto, DIY investing, uh, just to name a few off the top of my head. So we'll, we'll just have to see. I'll be If any of them are remotely correct, I'm going to be super duper thrilled after holding my XRP for three and a half damn years. Just saying, man. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, here's another analyst, Murfsky. Uh, wrote, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to not read the top one. <laughs> XRP, here's the second tweet from Murfsky. XRP has left the station. Next stop, $1.92. And that was earlier today, to just like just 10 hours ago. So he seems very confident that is indeed what we're going to see. Um, and then there was this from uh, from Rakesh Hupade, who writes for Cointelegraph. Um, he, he, he sees a potential notable upside that's in line with what I'm seeing from other analysts as well. Um, here you can see, yeah, if the bull sustain the price above a buck fifty-five, uh, then XRP could rally to a buck seventy-three and then retest the fifty-two week high one dollar ninety-six cents. So, guys, that that's clearly in line with what I keep seeing again and again and again from chart analyst after chart analyst after chart analyst. It's just a matter of time until that happens again. But this whole market moves together. It, like to me, I feel extremely confident it will occur. While always recognizing, fine, I could be wrong. There's no I can know for sure. But uh, I'd just be very surprised if it didn't occur. Uh, and so now there's this, because when's this all going to end? It's, you, you must understand this, especially if you're new to crypto. A bubble is forming, it will pop, and there will be endless chaos, and it will be warranted, and there will be price drops, uh, massive. I don't know what they'll be, maybe at 70, 80, 90%. Historically, that's what we see. That's what happened last market cycle. Uh, this will be no different. The people that say it will be different this time, or they're, they're speaking nonsense as far as I'm concerned. So it's going to happen, just be aware. And so that's why for a lot of people, it's a scary point. Like, well, how do you know that this dip isn't the time when the bubble's breaking? And um, there's no way to know anything for sure, but what I'm looking for in terms of selling, and this is the reason, big reason I'm able to sleep easy at night, uh, in addition to the fact that I only invested what I'm willing to lose anyway, it's that I'm following, um, I'm, I'm looking for chart formations because this market rhymes with itself. It, it keeps, the same stuff keeps happening over, over and over and over again. And so I'm anticipating that will continue. It will continue to do the same thing. And if I'm wrong, yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but if it does continue to do, the market does continue to do what it's done in the past. It's just more money's flowing and it gets bigger. Well, if you just look, you just have to look for chart formations that are, are very similar to what happened previously. And for me, that's what I'm going to look at to determine. And I'm not a chart analyst even, but like, I don't think we need to overcomplicate overcompl uh, things here. I'm going to be looking for that to help me to figure out when it is I want to sell. So I haven't set specific price targets or timeline targets because to me, that's not what matters. What matters is when does it look like the bubble is is about max inflation? Because once it's um, inflated to the max, uh, I'll be very confident that a bubble is impending. And even if I'm off by a week or two or four or months, whatever it is, even if, gosh, if, even if I'm off by months, I'm not going to, at some point I'm going to be like, it looks structurally like a bubble. And at some point I'm going to exit the vast majority of my positions, if not all of them. And I'm going to sit on the sideline and I'm not going to be able to time the top. So when that happens, there'll be people when I publicly, and I will share with you when I do this, there'll be people I'm sure that will be poking in front of me. Oh, look at that moon Lambo idiot. What a stupid name. And he says stupid stuff. He's not even funny. Like, I'm sure there'll be all sorts of people saying that joking about, uh, oh, what an idiot. And he sold all and look at how the market's going up. Fine. But at some point, I need to adjust my own risk. You know, I do. And I need to be able to sleep at night. And I know I'm not going to be able to time the top of this market. And I'm at peace with that. That's fine. As long as I hit what, what I want to hit uh, or, and get out when I want to get out specifically, good. I'm perfectly fine with that. And if the market keeps going up without me, uh, I'll be A-OK, -okay, let me assure you. And then the bubble will pop. And then I'll have a C, I told you, even though I acknowledge I don't know exactly when that's going to happen because it's not even about timing. Uh, but then I'll, I'll, I'll hang out with you guys after that. And uh, I'll, I'll let this whole market tank. Well, not like I can control that. I'll, 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 allow, I'll allow the market to tank. I'm moon nambo. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll watch the market tank. And at some point, I'll start purchasing more. And just like I couldn't sell the top, I won't be able to buy the bottom, which means when I start dollar cost averaging in, uh, you know, whatever I invest, it's going to go down in price relative to the United States dollar. And that's fine. And it's not going to freak me out. And I'll just keep buying. Consider this. When XRP hit its top last market cycle on January 4th of almost four bucks, I was a little shy of that. Uh, it, it, at some point, and I can't remember how long it took. I'm not going to pull up a chart for the sake of this video, but it, it, it maybe maybe it took like half a year or something, maybe seven months. I don't remember. But at some point, it finally got down to like 50, 55 cents. And at that point, I, I was thinking to myself, okay, well, clearly the bubble's deflating. And I said to myself, I don't. And I, mind you, I hadn't even like started my YouTube channel or anything. So like I didn't get to talk to anybody about this really. But I was saying to myself, uh, I think uh, it, obviously the bubble's deflating. 
Uh, I don't know where the bottom is. I, I it, It's probably not now, but it's low enough. The price of XRP is low enough. I'm going to start buying. And I, it may, I'd have to go back and look. I think the first time I bought XRP again after the bubble popped, I think it was at 55 cents. I'm pretty sure. And so then it, as it continued to tank, I just bought more. It went down to, you know... 40 cents, I bought more. 30 cents, bought more. And 20-something cents, and I bought more. I just kept buying. And then I'd buy at uh, regular intervals is what I was doing there. And so just like I'm, I'm not going to be able to sell the top, I'll sell along the way to the top. I, I won't be able to purchase the bottom. And I'll buy along the way towards the bottom with an expectation that we're going to see another a tremendous rally in a, in a subsequent market cycle. That, that's my full expectation. It, it's coming. Like To me, it's a virtual certainty. Anyway, so into this piece now about when we can expect this to end. Popular on-chain analyst Willy Wu thinks Bitcoin's bull run is far from over. Wu tells Salt Talks that investors who simply buy and hold are coming in very strong in the current Bitcoin market and are acting as a driving force of the current bull run. And here's a quote. We're seeing a net flow of coins from participants that have been traditionally more or less speculating or buying over the short term and then selling. Maybe they're like traders that uh, that trade in and out of altcoins, but essentially these new people, they're just buying and locking up the coins. That's been a very big driver of this bull market, that there's been strong buying. A lot of the conversation has been around institutional investors, that's true, but also I think that there are a lot of high net worth investors coming in here, coming to buy, uh, to buy it in slugs of $1 million at a time. We see that very strongly in the first two months of 2021. Yeah, and, and fair enough points, by the way. So uh, on that, I'll, I'll just say, as that continues to happen, there will be a people that bought early enough that they'll have realized enough profits uh, that they want to cash out. Like, they'll see it. They'll see the numbers on their screen, and they will want to, to convert that into the fiat, their fiat currency of choice, whatever they use. They're, they're going to take it. And so that's why it happens. So then you get enough of those people happening, you know, more or, or engaged in that behavior. And you have more sellers than buyers when there's that many people that want to realize their profit at the same time that it creates a panic. And then it just cascades down and down and down. And so that's why you get these market cycles here. And so the question is, when are we going to hit that point, of course? But anyway, Wu says retail numbers have also been going up in the past two to three weeks. In terms of price predictions, he points to last year's Bitcoin having as another factor that he believes will continue to push the value of Bitcoin up several fold by the end of the year. If past is prologue, he predicts Bitcoin's momentum will begin to fade in, drum roll, that's the moon level drum roll, December. There you go. Momentum will begin to fade in December this year, he says. I, I could live with that. I mean, hell, it's a, you know, it's a, a tomorrow it's May, um, so... Still got most of the year ahead of us. That I, I, I look. The, as far as I'm concerned, the more time, the better. I would. I want this thing to bake because I think the more time it bakes, uh, the more time uh, money has to come in before people start panic selling. Uh, the, the higher everything's going to get. So I, I'm all about. I, I want a big old bubble to inflate. To some people, bubble is just like a nasty word, nasty concept. I say no. There's bubbles in every single market, and the volatility here resulting in a bubble is why I'm here. This that makes this super duper appealing to me. And I res recognize that this is the most volatile, risky asset class on the planet. Fine. But I want exposure to that. I'm one of the weirdos that wants exposure to that. And if you're here, you probably are too. So high five out there. Air five, right? We're the same. <laughs> uh, but anyway, here's a quote. Essentially, that gives us a little, uh, a little shove on the price. If you've got half the amount of sell power uh, from new coins being mined, you get a bullish impulse. And in the past cycles, it seems that the bullish impulse manifests into this crazy run up. The last one was 2017. It took us from $1,000 to $20,000. It tends to peter out around the fourth quarter, around December. So ballparking December, based on that top cap model of mine, it could be anywhere in the $300,000 to $400,000 range. It might even go higher. But we need to see how it performs over the next six months. Okay, so just be careful with that. He, he, I hope he's right. I would love that. I'm a Bitcoin holder, and I think that, um, and I'm long Bitcoin, so a higher Bitcoin price, hey, on a scale of one to 10, I give that two thumbs up. I would love to see that. Uh, additionally, why I'm even more excited about that, not just because I'm a Bitcoin holder, because I'm an XRP holder, and I hold a bunch of other crypto also. The higher Bitcoin goes, the higher other coins will go. I firmly believe that to be the case here. So if you're talking about Bitcoin going to those levels, like, my gosh, if that happens, I just, I just want to know how it could be the case that XRP could end up not going $20 to $30 at least, if you're talking about, like, how could it not happen if, if Bitcoin goes that high? Somebody make the case to me, because I just, I have a hard time imagining that it wouldn't hit those levels if that actually occurs. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to be so bold as to predict that it will happen. I acknowledge I don't know, but I just, 
my I have suspicions, and I, I just I really would be surprised not seeing those types of XRP levels if Bitcoin hits those types of levels that Willy Woo is talking about here. So let me know what you think, but I'll wrap it there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Nambo.